Yo, how are we doing everybody? So today I'm doing a Bravely Default 2 guide for Linen Sith, the boss of the self Civilization. So this is an optional boss, you don't have to fight her, but um, I figure why not, you know? So she is um, by the starting town, like the first time we start this game, and she is just to the north. As long as you just follow the road as north as it goes, you can't really miss her. Uh, she sticks out a lot compared to the other sylphs because she is like pinkish red. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty difficult boss fight. I think she is more powerful than Orpheus, so yeah, definitely make sure you're ready before you decide to fight her. Uh, speaking of which, the jobs I decided to use here, we're going uh, White Mage, Vanguard, Black Mage, and Monk. Which is, again, the same loadout I was using versus Orpheus. I don't think the damage dealers really matter too much, you can kind of use whatever. Um, like, don't use a Freelancer. Uh, the Freelancer's probably a pretty terrible idea. Um, it doesn't really deal that much damage in general, but more importantly, it's the treat ability, where you restore 20% of a target's HP. Um, that can end up being used against you, and it'll be really, really devastating, so... You don't want to be a freelancer in this fight. But um, with the White Mage, I would like having a Benediction. This was very useful for me. It increases your healing output. I can combo that with like Kira, where I heal so much. But even more importantly, now I have the Bard sub-job. With uh, that ability right there, I can reduce magical damage, which this boss deals a lot of magical damage. And you can also put this boss to sleep. Um, I'm not sure how effective it is, like how many uh, turns the sleep last, but uh, cause yeah, I have a guest character with me and they keep interrupting the sleep. But yeah, it might be useful for you if you don't have the guest character. But yeah, uh, with the Vanguard, Sword of Stone was the best ability I found as far as dealing damage, so maybe have that. And then yeah, Thundara on the Black Mage, cause the boss is weak to uh, electricity. So having Thundara is super useful. And then with Monk, like, I really, really appreciate having uh, Invigorate for this fight. Because it's like, I just need to pile on as much damage as I can. And getting that extra damage increase from Invigorate was uh, very, very useful. Um, as far as equipment goes, I'm using mostly the same equipment. Um, I do have two things for Restorative Power plus 10 on my White Mage, which just increases their healing output. So I thought that was very, very useful. And then for my monk, it's very, very important that they have the silver glasses on, because their attacks typically miss a lot. Like, um, Strong Strike, by its design, misses. And I also have uh, the Vanguard sub-job with uh, Crosscut, and Crosscut can also miss a lot, so just having the extra aim is pretty useful. But uh, yeah, let's just go into the actual fight now. So, with this boss, it, oh my goodness, first off, it just has a lot of HP, it's uh, pretty similar to Orpheus, I think it has uh, like a thousand more HP or so, but um, also I find it really difficult to take my turns and deal the damage. Like, you might think this fight would be easier, because it's only one enemy instead of the five, but uh, Lenin Sith has quite a few attacks that are uh, pretty devastating. The yeah, Nocturnal Gala. That's the attack right there. This one charms you. And when you're under the charm effect, it makes your character, they're no longer under your control. They're under under uh, Linen Sith control. So that can be really bad. That's why I'm saying you should not be a freelancer or sub-job freelancer in this fight. Because if you get charmed, like if you get mind control, then you can potentially heal her for 20% of her HP, so you'll be healing her for thousands of health, which I uh, accidentally did as I was trying different things out in this fight. So yeah, don't don't be a freelancer. Just don't do it. It's not a good idea. And yeah, Sword of Stone, um, very very useful. Does decent damage, and then yeah, Magnifying Glass, just so I have a decent idea of what the boss's HP is at. Like with all the fights, I always. Uh, definitely say you should try to get that uh, magnifying glass in there or to examine them as a freelancer though so, yeah, you could be a freelancer for this fight but thankfully we have that uh, item which is very easy to obtain you can just buy it at stores and uh, yeah that way 
like if he gets really low then I can go a little bit crazy. But yeah, right now I'm starting off things pretty tame. Like I have a more powerful spell with uh, Thundara, but we're going for Thunder here because I'm trying to conserve my MP. I'm a little worried if I just go straight into the Thundaras, I might uh, run out of mana. And this, this can be a really long fight, but keep that in mind. And yeah, right here, I'm opening up with uh, Firebird. The Firebird increases the damage uh, the enemy takes from fire type attacks. And yeah, I believe Flying Heal Drop is also fire elemental. And then yeah, Crosscut at the very end, because yeah, Adele's attack is a monk. They typically take her own HP away, so I try not to put her too close to critical, which worked out here, right? But she ended up being targeted by the boss, even though Gloria has increased uh, chance to be targeted. Which uh, was one of my bard abilities as well. I think it's like uh, center stage or something like that. Some silly bard ability that increases the chance of that target being attacked. But yeah, it's it's just a chance. It's not guaranteed the boss can still attack whoever they want to attack. And yeah, having uh, this gas character is kind of nice. Like, obviously not as useful as Sloan was when it comes to healing. But uh, this prince here, he can reduce vulnerabilities. Like, he makes them more vulnerable to physical attacks or magical attacks. And then, you know, having both the black mage and the monk, I'm able to do take advantage one way or the other, yeah? So we can use the magic attacks when magic defense is down and physical attacks when the uh, physical defense is down. But yeah, for this fight, uh, not really anything too crazy uh, outside of charm. Like, uh, we're definitely just trying to default a lot and just do all the damage we can when we do have the 3 BP. Um, I try not to be too focused on gaining BP with my healer, with Seth. If I'm not careful, if I'm a little too greedy, and I'm like just going for all the BP that I can get, then sometimes people's HP will be a little too low. I feel like it's more important that uh, Seth is willing to not gain the BP so that he can make sure everyone stays alive. I try to use poison here. I've used poison in like every single boss fight. I don't know if I have the worst luck. Oh, there's the black wind. Yeah, this is this is so damaging. Like it does about like 400, 500 damage to everybody. As you can see, everybody's low. And then yeah, right there, there's another charm. So Seth is currently being mind controlled. So I'm going to hit my own ally right there so I can break him out of that because this is very important. I need him to be able to raise Gloria. Then we're going to use Benediction here, so I have increased healing output. And then I'll go for the uh, double cura. And uh, yeah, like, it was very important we broke Seth out of that charm. If I was not able to do that, that would have been a game over right there. Um, when you want to attack your own teammates, all you have to do is choose the attack command. And then you're going to push in the control stick. It says so at the uh, bottom of the screen. You do that and that allows you to target your own teammates and yeah like um if i have the choice i prefer to attack with like uh my casters beth and elvis with them being a uh, white mage and black mage just using the stats they deal practically no damage at all when they're hitting their teammates versus uh adele and gloria sometimes they can uh deal more damage Though, I have decent defense, so, like, generally nothing hurts too bad, but every now and then, you know, like, Adele might have, like, some damage increases going, and, uh, she might land a critical hit, and I really don't want to knock out my own teammates, so, yeah, if I, if I have the choice, I prefer to use my casters to break the, uh, charm. But yeah, if, um, you are targeted, like, multiple people get hit by the charm, what you can do is, uh, don't worry too much about going into the red, because uh, as long as someone can take a turn, they can take four turns. You only need three though, right? Like if three people are all charmed, yeah, just go into the red and hit your own teammates, knock them all out of that. Because yeah, if your healer's not able to take their turn, everybody might just die, which is really, really bad. You don't want that happening. And yeah, right here, this is pretty much the end of the fight. I'm going into the red here, because again, I can see the boss's HP, I can see they're really low, so, you know, it feels like not a big deal, I can take the risk here. 
And yeah, like uh, right here, everybody is pretty low at HP, but uh, the fight's almost over, so I don't mind my white mage going into the red either. So yeah, we're gonna do that benediction into the double cure. So yeah, benediction increases the healing output, so like everyone's practically at full, and then bam, don't let them trick you. The bard ability to reduce my uh, damage. Oh, yep, there we go. There's three people all getting charmed right there. That's uh, that's pretty terrible timing. Yep, there's the black wind. So everybody's gonna take quite a bit of damage. And yeah, I did, didn't get to take a turn with Gloria there because she's charmed. Another black wind. Another black wind. Oh yeah, not not looking too hot. Not even a little bit. But thankfully, you know, I can just focus the boss here because they don't have any HP. Bam. <laughs> oh, that fight, dude. That fight is so difficult. But yeah, I definitely appreciated this fight. So, uh, right here, I did this fight at level 11. Um, I would maybe suggest doing it at level 12. That might make it a little bit easier for you, but obviously, as you can see, this is doable. It's just, uh, it's pretty tricky. But, uh, yeah, as long as you're looking out for the charm, as long as you are keeping your HP high so you can't be knocked out by like three or four black winds coming back to back, uh, you should be good to go. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do me for my video for today. Thank you so much for checking this video out. I hope it was useful. I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you found it useful, please let me know. Uh, just leave a comment down below and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Alright, thanks for coming by. It was fun, guys. Peace. Hope to see you in the next one.